Hai semua Jangan lupa tekan butang subscribe Dan tekan butang loceng Di bawah ya Terima kasih Selamat menonton Okay, Assalamualaikum And a very good morning everyone How are you today? So now We will continue our online lesson On how to make sentences On the activity that you really like to do During your leisure time Or in the other word, is your hobby. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let us look at the content standard first before we go through uh, the main part. Okay, the main skill 4.2.1. Explain and give reason for simple opinions. Okay, complementary skill. Explain and give reason for basic opinions. Okay, uh, make sure by the end of the lesson, you will uh, achieve the content standard stated here. Okay, uh, before we, uh, after this, I will explain on you how to make uh, simple sentences. Okay, let's we go to the first part. Okay, part one. What kind of hobby do you prefer? Okay, before we are talking about hobby, we must know the vocabulary of the hobby. Okay, let me give you some example of hobby. Okay, watching TV, reading books, playing basketball, playing hockey, going swimming, going climbing, drawing, and taking photos. So, which one is your hobby? Okay, maybe you also can use your own hobby too. Uh, not only listed in uh, this list. Okay, let's we look at the first sentence below. Okay. In my free time, I like dot, okay, dot. Okay, what you should put in the, the dot, in the dot. Okay, you should put your hobby. Okay, let's say, Uh, your hobby is watching TV. Okay. In my free time, I like watching TV. Okay. Do you get it? Very good. Okay. Let's say your friend said, Teacher, teacher, I like reading books. Okay. You can use reading book in your sentence. In my free time, I like reading book. Okay. Make sure after the word like, uh, the verb after it, Must plus with ing. Okay. For example, I show here. Uh, okay. Playing. Okay. Playing is the verb. Yeah, the verb after like. Okay. So play is a verb. Okay. Okay. Then you must plus ing at the back of playing. Okay, now do you understand? Okay, let's we look at the second part. Okay, uh, to make your sentence more beautiful, uh, you must add in details to your ideas. Okay, for example, how often do you do your hobby? Uh, teacher, what is often? Okay, often is uh, how many times you do Your hobby, uh, maybe in a month or a year. Okay, let's look at the example of uh, times given here. Every, okay, you you can use the word every in your sentence. Okay, for example, every weekend, every Sunday afternoon, every morning. Okay, or you can also use once or twice. A dot. Okay, once. Once means one time only. Okay, twice mean two times. Okay, let's we look at the example. Once a week, once a month, or a year. Twice a week or twice a year. Okay, three times a week, three times a month, or three times a year. Okay, let's we look at the example sentence here. Okay, I really enjoy dot, dot. Okay, dot, uh, the first dot. You must put your hobby. Okay, for example, um, reading books. I really enjoy reading books. Okay, 
How often do you reading your book? Okay, maybe every weekend. I really enjoy reading books every weekend. Or maybe you said uh, you want to put once a week. Okay, I really enjoy reading books once a week. Okay, do you get it? Very good. So let's we go to the third part. Okay. Uh, why do you like your hobby? Uh, you can also put in your sentence what your feeling towards your hobby. Okay. Uh, look at the example of the opinion adjective that we can use. Okay. Really exciting. So relaxing. So creative. Very fun. Or very interesting. So which which one is your feeling towards your hobby? Okay, let's look at the sentence below. Okay. I love dot because it is dot. Okay, so the first dot, you must put your hobby. Okay, uh, we still use the same uh, hob hobby, uh, which is reading books. I love reading books because it is okay, really exciting. Okay, do you get it? Uh, okay, so uh, I hope uh, everyone can make your own sentence tomorrow and make sure uh, record your video and submit it to me by tomorrow. Okay, until we meet again. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Terima kasih, jumpa lagi, bye-bye.